Hi, I'm Celine, technical writer with Smart Learning Suite Online. And today I'm going to show you a new feature that we've added to the SuperSort activity. So I've opened up this lesson in editing mode, and we'll preview the activity I've created, which is teaching my students about the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. And I just picked one of the preset themes that's in here, the Rockstar theme, because it's a lot of fun, but it doesn't really match the subject matter that I'm teaching. So the new customization feature we've added will allow you to actually customize an activity. So we'll click edit and open up uh, the wizard that lets you edit the activity and I'll show you how to customize it. So in this first screen I have the categories that students are going to be dividing items into and they're, they're already sorted into the right categories. So that's all good to go. I'll click next. And here's the part where you can choose a theme. So you can see all the preset themes that you're familiar with if you've already been using SuperSort. And here in the top left is the new option which is custom. So we'll go ahead and select that and choose next. And now we have a screen that allows us to customize each of the images in the activity. So we'll start with the background. I'll just click on the image icon here and then tap here in the center. And here I can open up my explorer and actually select an image. So I've prepared some here already that I think will go well with this activity. Let's use the pyramids for the background. So once the image is loaded up here, I have the option to resize it. Um, but I think it looks nice at the full size. So we'll just save it like that. And already you can see this is looking great. If you wanted to move ahead and that was the only image you customized, that would still be a big improvement for this activity. But you do have the option to go in and customize each of the individual images in here. So the first category students are going to be sorting things into is King Tut. So I've actually got an image of a statue of King Tut. So we'll open that up. And then we'll do the same thing for Ramses. I've got an image of a statue of Ramses the second. So we'll open that up. And the last image you have the option to customize is actually the background image that appears on all the items that students can sort. So for that, I've actually got this nice image of a hieroglyph, which matches the theme of what I'm teaching my students and will help bring ancient Egypt alive for them a little more. So we'll save that. And this is looking a lot better. Another option that you have when you add images, since sometimes the text becomes less clear, is you can use the text button here to just toggle and change the color. So I think white looks a little bit clear. Um, you also have the option to move things around and resize them. So I might make the statues just a little bit bigger so the categories are a little more obvious. Um, and then one, once I'm happy with how it looks, oh, one more thing I can show you. Um, you do have the ability to change the orientation of the activity. So if you wanted students to be sorting things by dragging them over to the left here, you could do that. But I'm actually just going to cycle through the options here until we get back to the layout that we had because that's my favorite one. So we'll click Finish, and we'll just open up the preview here so you can see what the final product looks like. So now the activity is looking way better, way more exciting and appropriate to the content that I'm teaching. Um, so we, once again, we've added this feature for the super sort activity. It's the first one we've added customization to. And I'll just go through the file here and show you a couple more examples we've created. So these are all custom made themes and it kind of gives you an idea of the options that open up for you now and the way that you can customize things for your lesson depending on the subject that you're teaching um, and what you're looking to show to your students. So we're excited for you to give this new feature a try. Uh, if you'd like to see more updates like this, be sure to subscribe to the Smart Support YouTube channel and keep an eye on the new features in Smart Learning Suite Online playlist. Thanks for watching.